Welcome to our Crazy Craft Scotland. It's Fiona here with my third mixed media mat. I always find that a tongue twister. So if you've been watching a while, you might um, remember that I am making these autumn themed mats for on my wall basically to hide all the, the yucky marks. So that is number two. I will link the video for that one um, in the description box below. And number one was over here and that video is also on my channel and today I've got number three which is <laughs> excuse the ring light um, the it's a very drift day here in Scotland so the light isn't very good that ring light's annoying me but look what happens if I turn it off it's very dark um, I was going to do a Halloween one as well however I have just completed my Halloween diamond painting which is there isn't that gorgeous so I'm not going to spend time doing a Halloween mat because I've got so much else that I'm wanting to get on with with my junk journal and Christmas things, stuff like that. Anyway, if you want to shut up, stop havering and get on with what we're actually here for. So my mixed media mat number three is autumnal animals. Are you ready? Are you ready? Da -da -da -da. So... Here we have it, my autumn animals. Let me see if it's easier for you to see it standing up. Yeah, it's a bit easier to see like that, isn't it? So let's have a, a bit of a breakdown as to how I did this. No, it's not me having the breakdown. I'm just going to break down how I actually did that. So the first thing that I did was I wanted um, a nice sort of autumnal field type background so i took a layer of blue card and i ripped it rather than cutting it because i like the ripped edges and then on top of that i put a layer of green card and then on top of that i cut out two hill shapes in a different color green and added that to it just to give a sort of hilly field effect and I did some inking just basically to give the, the sky some texture and just to add some different colouring into the green on the cards. Then I decided to add a tree. So I cut out some beige card just in a, a rough sort of childlike tree shape if you like because I wanted the background to be simplistic so that it didn't take away from the actual animals. So I did the the tree just in a beige card and then I inked the trunk with, um, what was that? Vintage Photo Distress Ink, I think. So for the sort of the top bit of the tree, I basically just used some orange ink and inked the whole thing and then I just went over it with a couple of leaf stamps. And then I took the leaf stamps down onto the grass as well. I then, um, took my mushroom stamp and I stamped one there and one up there and that was basically oh and one down there as well and that was basically it for the background then I had made this little robin out of book pages oh ages ago and I wanted to use it in something and I thought this would be perfect but I didn't know where to put it I thought it would look a bit silly just sort of stuck in the sky or whatever so I decided to make a little nest for it so as you can see what I did was I took a brown envelope and just cut it into shreds like um, sort of nest material, glued it down. I then um, took my alcohol markers and just drew different shades of brown on some of it. And I put my little birdie in the nest and I thought that was quite cute. There is a little um, gem there for his eye but it wasn't very obvious so I just went round that in brown marker as well and yeah so that's my little robin I thought he was very very cute in my tree here I've got my first ever decoupage and it was um, a wee owl from a decoupage kit that I got in Happy Mail from Cadj so that is lovely I think it's very cute and what I did was I just used one of my alcohol markers because the the branch was the same color as the owl and I wanted it to sort of look like it was coming from this tree so I just um 
got a, as close a colour as I could to the tree trunk and coloured in the branch that the owl's sitting on and I think that is gorgeous. I did a little decoupage down there as well and again I coloured the, the tree trunk in just with my alcohol markers and this little bunny rabbit was part of the decoupage kit but it wasn't there to be decoupage it was just like a little extra so I stuck him beside the little kissing squirrels and I thought it was quite cute it's like he's looking at them saying come and play with me um I had some felt stickers that I got ages ago from Pound Stretcher or, or Home Bargains oh, it was maybe Home Bargains actually so I decided to add the little fox I thought he was quite cute and the little hedgehog and the little owl sitting up there on the hill then I had some autumnal stamps that I got for 50 pence from the works. So I stamped the, the little deer and I stuck him on, but I deliberately left his little antlers not stuck so that I could put them forward a bit. As you can see, I've had a bit of an accident with that one. But deer's antlers aren't perfectly symmetrical, are they? Um, so I just had the beige card and I stamped him in brown and I also had this little fox stamp which I think is so cute. So I stamped him in an orangey red on the beige card and the deer, oh, I did add some little gems for all the, the stamps eyes but I couldn't resist doing red for his nose. I know it's not Christmas, I know it's not Rudolph but I couldn't resist it. Um, I gave the fox little yellow eyes and... I did the little hedgehog stamp as well, again with the same brown, and I gave him little gold uh, eyes as well. Now, in that decoupage kit, there was also a little baby hedgehog. So, what I decided to do was, I stuck the baby hedgehog down, and instead of, um, once I'd fussy cut all this, the stamps, instead of laying him flat, I decided to put him on one of the like the decoupage pads, if you like, so that he, he was sticking out just a wee bit so that I could have the wee hedgehog peeking out from behind him. I thought that was quite cute. What else did I do? Then just for little finishing touches on the main scene, I thought the sky looked a bit kind of bare. So I just added the little butterfly that I had fussy cut out a card. And then I added some little mushrooms that I had fussy cut out the same cards. Um, so there's one there, one there and one just peeking out behind the squirrels and I also, on those cards there were also little leaves so I fussy cut them out and just stuck them randomly around and I stuck some of them under the nest so that it looked like um, there were some leaves in the nest as well. Now, what else did I do to the main picture? I think that was it. And then the cards that I fussy cut the flowers and the butterfly and things from were the little note cards that I've shown on my channel before. And they had some autumnal animals on them too. And I thought, how am I going to get them in? So I decided to have them peeking out the side. So we've got this little hedgehog. He's peeking out the side of the, the mat. We've got these little owls peeking out the top of the mat. And then the little squirrel peeking out the top as well and I thought they were really quite cute it just gives it that extra dimension again sorry about the ring light let me put it over there and see if that that's a bit better um so yeah I think it's quite cute that it looks like they're perched on top and the little hedgehogs coming out the side so that is my third and final autumnal mixed media mat and I'm quite happy with it I think let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Is there anything else that I could have done? Is there anything you would have done a bit better? Because like I always say, I'm learning and it's the only way I'm going to learn. Is there anything that you particularly like? Just chat to me. I love chatting to you in the comments below. So I think this one is going to go behind all my stationary stuff just in there when I get a chance to do it. And that is going to be my little wall. It's going to be complete and it's going to be very pretty. Um, I was going to put my diamond art, actually hang it on the wall. But I thought, no, if I leave it there, then that kind of goes with the, the whole theme. And I've got my boo berry candle lit. I love that candle. So, yeah, that is everything from me today, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks everyone. Bye!